Tao in Chinese simply means the way. As a philosophy, it is to find balance and harmony with the universe. Welcome to the Tao of Chao podcast. This is a podcast about macroeconomics, geopolitics, global finance, investment themes, retirement planning, and behavioral finance, where we will try to find balance and provide a clearer path forward in this uncertain world. I'm Philip Chow, your host. Each episode, I will feature an industry guest, a person in the trenches, a practitioner to discuss a relevant topic in which my guest has expert knowledge and wisdom. Hello, Philip. How are you today? Hi, Chelsea. I'm great. Thank you. I'm really excited to talk to you today. I know that you've been up to quite a few things, and I think this might be a little different for you since you're on the other side of the questions, but if it's okay with you, we'll get started. Well, thank you. So, Philip, I understand that you've launched a new videocast podcast. Please tell me what motivated you to do this. So as you know, Chelsea, I, uh, I've been in the investment management and consulting field for yeah, many years. So regardless if I am assisting family to preserve their wealth or to secure a standard of living for, for life or, or to help institutions to meet their long-term missions, a really important part of my daily activities is to really develop and secure a top-down view about global economic environment, um, you know, sort of big picture. And to identify macro trends to be opportunistic or to be more informed about risks. And, you know, investing is really about balancing a risk and reward, hopefully more reward, less risk. So my thought process needs to remain open, agile, supple, you know, and sure-footed. So I often reach out to subject matter experts to inquire, to understand their developing views or their convictions and the opportunity set that they see value or danger and, and why. So as such that uh, over the past two decades, I have spent time with many experts on a one-on-one -on -one basis and have really benefited a great deal uh, from these kinds of trans uh, conversations. Um, it could either be affirming and say, gosh, you know, we are thinking alike, which sometimes worries me because we're all thinking alike and really have no diversity. Uh, but I like that because people like what I'm thinking or I like what they're thinking, so to speak. And then there are times that they, they have a totally different uh, viewpoint, which is really, really helpful too, to see what is missing and what am I, you know, not thinking about. So during COVID, we started to use video conferencing, you know, as a substitute. We just kind of sit at our respected places. And all of a sudden last year, I thought, boy, maybe it would be helpful to my audience if I, you know, record some of our conversations. So they too can benefit and listen to us talking about hopefully very interesting stuff to them. So I launched my video cast podcast is both video and audio. And I named it Tao of Chow. So that's, that's what I'm doing. Well, that makes a lot of sense to me, but what exactly does Tao of Chow mean? Great question. <laughs> so Tao in Chinese is Dao, close enough. And it's a philosophy uh, that goes back hundreds of years. And it really is a way of life. It's more than just a philosophy. It's how we think living can be. And the literal translation is the way. It's kind of nebulous, the way. You know, really the way of life. Uh, and it's not really super well defined, but it's a thinking about how we may want to live our lives. So it's sort of the way of existence. Most importantly, is existence in a state of balance with oneself, one's environment, one's universe. Sounds really huge. So maintaining a state of harmony is what we're talking about. And it is a broad concept that anyone can adopt for their personal or professional lives. In this case, I'm hoping to bring this idea, this balance, by incorporating it into asset allocation, macroeconomics, government policies like fiscal and monetary policies, and touching on geopolitics and behavioral finance. Lots of, lots of topics, but there are threats that they touch each other and how they work with each other in ways that we may not, maybe not even thought about. So the end is about, of course, ourselves, our biases, 
and our blind spots and how we can maintain balance by being more informed and more aware of our environment. So that's Tao, right? I mean, that's what is supposed to help us. So more and more from social media to politics to investing into our daily lives, just turning on television or your whatever account that you use for social media, and you listen and you, you see the conversations, I hear extremes. Even though we do not live in a life with binary outcomes, right? It's either this or that. And we operate really in a spectrum of colors or shades of gray. And in investing, we are looking for that optimal outcome that balances risk and return and protecting downside, meaning losses, while reaching for the upside. So we're trying to shed some light on how to find balance in managing money and portfolio construction, in linking many things in this world together in a cohesive and understandable way. And so that's why I call it Tao of Chao. Well, it sounds very fascinating, and I can't wait to hear what all you're going to be discussing on it. Would you be willing to give us any sneak peek as to or previews as to who you might be talking to? Uh, I'm happy to do that after we turn off the mic, <laughs> but not now. <laughs> Thank you for asking, and stay tuned. I think uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun, and I, I really hope that uh, folks who are following or, or decide to listen to any one podcast – I walk away um, feeling really positive or learn something or aha moments uh, that will make me so gratified because I get that often in many of the podcasts that I have done or not even podcasts, just conversation. Um, so hopefully that will be uh, the results. But thank you. Thank you for asking these questions. You can always find more episodes by visiting philipchild.us slash podcast or find us on your favorite podcast app. You can always leave us feedback, ask questions, or request a topic for us to discuss by sending an email to pc at philipchow.us.